Here, here, back in the Fantasy Bar. Wednesday is up. Six of my favorite plays ready for you on FanDuel and DraftKings in the NBA tonight, including some of my favorite value plays and guys in the mid-range I think are too cheap. A couple games I want to attack with some correlation here and a beast of the night that's been absolutely going ham and is not priced like he should be. Who are we talking about? Only one way to find out. It's time to belly up to the Fantasy Bar. Welcome in, guys. Wednesday edition, Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack. Good to be back in the friendly confines talking some NBA. I've got six of my favorite plays ready for you for the big Wednesday night slate on FanDuel and DraftKings. Thank you, as always, for stopping by and checking out today's video. Before we get to the plays, take a second, click that thumbs up button. That is the tip jar here to continue to bring you these free videos here on YouTube. So thank you for that. Subscribe to the channel as well. Hit that notification bell. Pints and picks back as well tonight with two of my favorite NBA prop bets for you. So make sure you hit that notification bell and check that video out as well tonight. All right, tonight's slate, a lot of injuries to discuss, to navigate. As always, if we have to make any changes, we will do so in the comment section. And lastly, check out the new Roto-Grinders 2.0, brand new look for the site and a brand new avatar. So get that switched over. Want to see them Roto-Grinders logos in these DFS lobbies. Check it out over at rotogrinders.com. All right, let's jump into the plays here for Wednesday night. Let's get started at small forward, power forward with our boy, Denny Avdia of Washington. So I'm a loyal guy, and Avdia's been good to us. I want to go right back to the well here. These prices just not high enough for what he's been doing and the role he's playing for this Washington team. We've discussed this many a times with Avdia, but a guy that can get it done in so many different ways, stuffing the stat sheet of late. Five double-doubles now for him over the last eight games in this matchup not ideal i get it orlando one of the best teams in the nba defensively all it's going to do help lower ownership here hasn't played great against this orlando team but many of those games were earlier in the season when he did not have the role that he had now and did have a 39 point game earlier this season against the orlando magic but this is an all new denny obvia playing way more minutes than he was back then i think he has a big game tonight at low ownership even in this tough matchup against the Orlando Magic. All right, let's get some correlation in that game and stay in the mid-range at point guard with Jalen Suggs. So another guy very similar to Danny Avdia and get it done in so many different ways, hitting all of the categories on the stat sheet. Now you give him a matchup tonight with the Washington Wizards who give up a ton of production to the point guard position. We're talking third most rebounds, third most assists, eighth most points per game, and most importantly, the second most fantasy points per game to the point guard position. Three meetings already in the books for these teams. Suggs averaging over 30 DraftKings points per game in those matchups. Do the math. We're talking an easy 6x return here on average for Jalen Suggs. Love the spot. Love the prices here tonight against the Washington Wizards. Center. Up next, we are rolling with Jared Allen of Cleveland. Cavs going to miss some serious firepower here. Both Donovan Mitchell and Evan Mobley going to miss tonight's game against the Atlanta Hawks. And you talk about a steady cash game floor that we are looking for. Jared Allen has delivered that only twice. And I had to go all the way back to before Christmas as this guy dipped under 30 DraftKings points. So you basically lock in the 30, and we know the upside is there into the 40s and into the 50s here. And I think we could see that tonight against the Atlanta Hawks, who have been awful against the center position. Bottom 10 and giving up fantasy points here. So you add up the injuries here, the matchup with the Hawks, and a big night in store tonight for Jared Allen. All right, another injury situation we can capitalize on in Philadelphia. We are rolling with Ali Oubre Jr. So we know Joel Embiid going to miss once again here tonight. Tyrese Maxey dealing with a concussion. So he looks iffy as well. I'd be surprised if they roll him out here tonight. Even if he is in, still like Oubre. If he is out, love the spot here as the usage just goes through the roof. As you'd expect with those two guys off the floor, that's 61 points per game missing out of this lineup. If Maxey is out as well, Oubre's usage jumps over 8%. With those two gone, DraftKings points jump over 10 per game with those two off the floor. And been playing some good basketball here of late. Over 31 DraftKings points now in five of the last nine games and has shown us a 40, 50 point upside as well. Kelly Uber, one of my favorites here in the mid range for Wednesday night. All right, let's get you a power forward center up next with John Collins of Utah. So the theme of the show here, injuries in Utah, another team gonna be missing a ton of bodies and big bodies here as well. Going to be very thin. They're in that front court tonight for Utah. Lori Markin and out. Walker Kessler and Taylor Hendricks also out tonight. So John Collins going to have to do the heavy lifting 
down low, and he has answered the call here. Been an absolute terror on the boards. We're talking 10 or more rebounds now in six of the last eight games. Also been putting points on the board for this Utah team. 17 or more in five of the last seven games. Decent spot here against the Chicago Bulls. John Collins, one of my favorites, has been up here tonight against the Chicago Bulls. All right, it's time. Take a look at my favorite play for Wednesday night. Before we do that, let's continue our Beast of the Night contest. All you got to do, click that thumbs up button and head to the comment section and guess fantasy points on FanDuel tonight. For my Beast of the Night, whoever's guess is the closest, we're going to give you an absolutely free week of Roto-Grinders Premium just for hanging out in the Fantasy Bar. All right, let's wrap it up with my favorite play for Wednesday night. No mass Beast of the Night. All right, Beast time we're going to spend here, but we're not going to go crazy. We're going to keep it in the 8K range with a guy I think is vastly underpriced right now. We are talking point guard, shooting guard, Anthony Simons of Portland. Tonight's Beast of the Night. So basically the last man standing here for this Portland team. No Malcolm Brogdon, no Scoot Henderson, no Shaden Sharp, Jeremy Grant. Also listed as questionable here. We tried to go the G League route with Higgins the other day with Portland, but I want to go to the man wearing the Superman cape. And a guy I think is at least a thousand dollars underpriced, and the usage is more like a 10K player here. This guy's taken 23 or more shots in three of the last four games. Two of those games, 26 shot attempts. So doing it all here for this Blazers team. They generally don't like a two game sample, but 32 points per game over 10 assists per game and six rebounds per game here over the last two. And the last one, it gets a very tough defense in the Minnesota Timberwolves. So the shots are gonna be there. He's gonna have to do it all for this team and underpriced in my opinion, Anthony Simons, easily. My favorite play on the board and tonight's piece of the night. All right, guys, that'll do it for our Wednesday night six pack. As always, any comments, questions or feedback Hit me up in that comment section right below the video. Don't forget, fantasy points for Anthony Simons on FanDuel for your shot at some free Roto Grinders Premium. Check out my Pints and Picks video coming out today as well. Two of my favorite NBA prop bets. And don't forget Roto Grinders 2.0. Go switch that avatar over. Check out the new site and check out our Sim Labs tool as well to help you build those NBA lineups for RotoGrinders.com. I am Beer saying salut, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck. We'll be back with another video on Friday. Go win some money, and we'll see you on Friday. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.